All right, what up everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I apologize if I look tired. I just woke up. It's very, very early in the morning. That last video that I made with the, the you know, the Vader, the, the Darth Sam Bankman freed on the thumbnail, I stayed up all night making that video to get it out of the morning for you yesterday. And then, I, you know, I wanted to see the CPI because I've been saying for a very, very long time, um, you know how it would work and, and when it was going to change and if you guys are new on the channel you know i was able to you know spot the distribution in the volume i had my my other volume up here and i studied volume for many many years and i was able to say you know just a few days before the entire crash to get out of the market i also did that back in february of 2021 the night before and avoided the entire four month crash while everybody went through it. And I got us out and then I walked us through every single bit of the way and made a lot of money through the whole bear market. And back over here, I even predicted that it was going to be a double bottom bounce and exactly how it would play out in the future. And then it did play out that exact way. And we bought on this exact day on the exact candle okay and when it went up it did come down a little bit and i said hold the line and we still did and i walked you through one two three four minor trend reversals the ribbons went blue the jedi green lights went green we came out of the primary downtrend which is huge okay it's the first thing is the primary downtrend then trading with the trend and we came over here and we broke above this major trend reversal this yellow one because of this pivot high and this big peak and i had said we went above but we rejected and hopefully we just retest down right around the 13th of the cpi data and jump back up and i had been saying that if we had two inflation reads coming down then that would be a trend okay in the right direction showing that the fed rate hikes were working and that would be the very very beginning of our journey all the way back out. Now, the Dow had gone down all the way down to 22.44% down. That's a lot for the Dow. And the other day when I made the video, it was like 8.65. And if you look at it now on this blue line, we're only down 7.35% from all time high. And I had explained that actually what's going on, this whole area, it's actually going to be going up more than down, even though it's gonna be bumpy and volatile, it's gotta break this before a new bull run. And between here and when it breaks out, which will probably be you know further out here, this is called a base. It's a big base, kind of like this is a big base. Okay, so that's what you're doing. You're just you're just over here and you're working your way up until you break out of the base, okay? So we are out of the primary downtrend on the Dow and the Dow is a leading indicator. So the NASDAQ, the SPY and the Russell are going to follow their leader, which is the Dow. And we're gonna talk about Bitcoin as well. There's a lot of movement. All that we needed to do was get a small consistent trend of inflation coming down because markets and big money are forward looking and, and who moves the market? big money they're going to want to accumulate they're going to want to buy and and start buying good fundamental stocks with good technicals when there's momentum and there's high volume like we had yesterday when the inflation report came out when things get above the 200 as far as price action and you have good fundamentals and it's a good company you're leaving phase four which is the bear phase you're entering phase one which is the accumulation phase and they call it an accumulation phase because that's where you buy early that's where smart money buys and us as retail we can only put our money in knowing these things preparing for these things and then let them push us up and make money now i had peaked yesterday on my hodl at over hundred and sixty six thousand dollars profit in the morning now i pulled twenty eight thousand dollars profit and i ended at like ninety thousand profit up on the day so it did come down a little bit but still quite profitable and i sold some stuff and got some profit i also bought a lot of the ones i was down on that i had high conviction in to begin with to lower my cost and to get more shares because now that inflation is coming down 
you've already gone through the worst part. You've already gone through the storm and the hurricane. And now the sun is coming up behind the clouds. And as of yesterday with the inflation report coming in the way we wanted it to, now you can, the seas are not rough. The sun is shining and you're just on your way home. And when I say home, I mean back up to all time high. So things are looking good. This is when you wanna buy. And I can't imagine why you guys watching this channel would not be in the Discord or subscribe to the only guy that I have ever found on YouTube or TV that called the crash coming a few days before and called the bottom in the future and exactly how the bottom would happen. And it all played out exactly like I said it would to a T. <clears throat> I can't find anybody that calls him as accurate as me. They have bigger channels. Um, and I know that all the guys on TV, uh, they pretty much lie to you because you're retail and they, they think you're dumb and they want you to like lose money, but they can't trick me because I'm trained like smart money. Okay. I've already been through all the training. I've had all the licenses. I've had everything. I've, I've been doing it a long time. So I already know all the tricks and that's what I'm here is to help you guys and navigate and guide you through it. And I don't think there's a guy out there that navigated you guys. If you watched every one of my videos, I could put together all the videos, little clips for you of everything I said and then show you what happened. But that'll take me like a week to do. If you just subscribe and you just watch the videos and you listen and you watch all the way through, you'll see my accuracy is insane. Now we're going to look at the indexes and then we'll look at some stocks. So let's look at the other indexes real quick. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the NASDAQ. This is what I want you to understand about the NASDAQ. Two things. There's only two. I, I could tell you a lot of things about a lot of things. I just want to tell you what you need to know. There's two things you need to know about the NASDAQ. Actually, three things. We'll start with the fun one. The NASDAQ is super fun to trade in a bull run. Okay, that's number one. Number two, tech loves when inflation goes down. So when inflation goes down, tech and big tech go up. That's number two. And number three, when the NASDAQ is outside of this blue one, this primary downtrend, okay, that's officially moving above this 200 and out of the primary downtrend into phase one and you're in a bull run, historically and statistically and 100% of the time that you are in a confirmed bull run when the NASDAQ is happy. And when I say happy, I mean out of this blue line and above this purple one. So that's the three things you need to know. Number one, you're moving in the right direction. Okay. You got to get out of this. And when you do, boom, baby, all the worst is past us. All the crazy stuff in the last two years, most of it is either being in a healing process or there's a solution for it or we've moved forward past it and things like that so the nasdaq will follow the dow and the nasdaq's going to get a big jump as inflation comes down just like the nasdaq got wrecked as inflation went up all right so the spy you know it's <laughs> okay so this is what is going on with the spy the spy was kind of crazy it was making lower highs and then higher lows okay um yeah lower lows sorry and then higher lows and then it built this channel and it was kind of like bouncing up and down this channel and then for some reason some idiotic reason there's so many sheep in this market it's ridiculous for some idiotic reason a jobs report came out and then everybody on tv started fearing the fed and everybody just got scared and i just said guys don't trade don't worry wait till the 13th it was only a week ago all the fed presidents and governors were saying that we want to slow down on rate hikes they obviously knew data they obviously knew what was going on and had a sense of direction but the markets just love to overreact and all the little sheep get so scared and fearful and then all the influencers love clickbait because it gives you clicks and maybe i'm doing something wrong by not lying to you and bsing you and just trying to accurately teach you guys but you know that's really not the guy i wanted to be i just really wanted to help people so I walked you through how we're making this channel. I told you how the other indexes will follow the, the Dow and the SPY is the first one to follow the Dow. Okay, then it's the NASDAQ, then the Russell. So we were in this channel, everybody freaked out. It rejected on the 200 and it technically perfectly bounced just like I had said it might do in, in the last video a few days back called charts say with the question marks. And then inflation came out, which I thought it was gonna go up and boom, look at it go, it's an engulfing candle. 
and the wick came out of the primary downtrend the body is still below and you know we do have fomc speak today and there will be guidance so we'll you know we'll see where we go but i think there's more up than more down coming okay and again this is a base okay so this thing from all-time high it's just gonna go out for a long time just just like imagine this is 2007 Okay, this is 2008, this is 2009 where it bottomed and it never broke out here till 2013. But smart money, like me and you, we identify the pivot and the bottom. In fact, we identified it and called it and said it was coming and exactly how it would come and then exactly that is exactly what did happen. And I've been doing that the entire way through telling you the future. If you haven't noticed, I've been literally telling you the future of what's going to happen and they all play out. So there's the bounce that I said, and now here we are. And so what I'm telling you is they're going to give guidance. Okay. Now the way that Jerome Powell is going to come out is he's not going to want you guys spending a bunch of money and going crazy and putting it, you know, everything in the markets and markets getting, you know, rallying too high because you know he wants to control demand and m times v equals i so money times the velocity of spending money going out to sushi and buying christmas gifts at walmart equals inflation and his mandate is to try to get inflation down so he's gonna give some rhetoric that you know sounds maybe a little iffy or scary just prepare for it but the data is showing us that we are moving forward and the worst is past us and now the the worst half is past us and now we're at the 50 yard line and the rest of the way meaning all the way to here is going to be more up than down instead of more down than up it's going to be more up than down so we are now entering the accumulation phase we're leaving phase for the bear phase we're entering the accumulation phase now crypto wild card okay I got everybody in the perfect entries. Honestly, it was it was perfect. It was right there on the perfect support bounces. We can go back and look at the charts on everything. And then FTX happened. And I apologize, even though I wasn't sponsored by them and I had no privy information. But that's a black swan event. And nobody can nobody can foresee black swan events. All we can do is have capital protection in case that there is one. Okay, stop losses. So now that things are looking better in the crypto the volatility has slowed the volume is contracted you know it looks like big moves are coming and a santa rally has already started as of yesterday well we're going to look at some crypto you might want to add to some of those positions too and i am glad that sam bankman fried is arrested i'm glad he's in jail and i don't think he's ever going to see the light of day um, i do find it interesting that the bohemian police arrested him the night before he was supposed to testify and it was also the bohemian police that allowed uh the release of funds for 25 hours to bohemian residents and over i think it was over 100 million dollars were pulled out in that 24 25 hours suspicious and um yeah and there's more to that story that ftx hearing i watched almost all of it it was really really intense like like I've never heard of a business being ran that poorly. I cannot believe the things I was hearing. This this guy's never gonna see the light of day. Um, he's gonna serve prison sentences from one country to the next. I mean, wow, guys, wow. Yesterday was a part of history. You were a part of history. You got the confirmation on the trend with inflation coming down and the rate heights working. And you saw what is going to be a major change in the entire crypto space moving forward unfortunately due to ftx and the regulation that's coming hopefully it's not too rash hopefully it's not too hasty and hopefully it doesn't stifle innovation let's move forward i know i'm starting to get a little chatty my energy strings kicking in and i and i'm very proud i am very proud that i got on youtube i'm a private person i made that that video of how i made 10 million dollars and lost it and made it back that's not something that was easy for me to do to put that online i didn't want you guys to know you know the things i've done and you know i've been like you know kind of famous before and i didn't really want to put all that stuff out there on youtube i wanted to do youtube like independently 
um, off of you know my knowledge and I've studied this stuff for a long time and it was very hard for me to do and YouTube is hard for me to do because like you saw the Google earnings they cut their influencer budget by 66% and if people don't watch all the way through they don't push the video and I try to give you great content I spend a lot of money I learned how to edit I learned how to do motion graphics I learned how to do you know the music stuff in there I learned how to do all the engineering I learned how to do the graphic design I learned how to do all this stuff on my own for your benefit and I, I'm stressed out all the time and in this room constantly trying to do it for you and I'm not complaining because I'm going to continue to do it because I want you guys to learn and you guys mean a lot to me and I you know we do have people we do have students um, we had a, a lot more, but the bear run has just kind of taken a lot of people out, but we still have a lot of people in the discord and we do have a lot of subscribers and we do have a lot of people that I talk to every single day that help out in that discord and show charts. And we're going to be releasing our algorithm soon. I actually just got the new revision of the coding. I have a good feeling that it's, it's right. I've denied the last three or four versions. Um, but we were close on all of them, just minor tweaks and, you know, look out for that video because that's how you get that high 90% win rate and you make a fortune is off our algorithm and our coding that we, we've we been working on. And I've been working on the system for years. And I brought in this guy, um, he lives in a different country. He's a brilliant coder. And I've been really just trying to get him on my page to do the coding a specific way because I know what works best i know what gives the highest probabilities for win rates I'm, 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 a, I'm an expert trader i'm like a master at it i'm not like a pro or been doing it as a hobby my numbers are they're they're on like the best of the best of the best traders ever ever recorded in the world so i know what i'm doing when it comes to this and so i wanted it built a certain way and the way that we built this is is not like everybody else builds it we're not cheap at the wheelhouse we're leaders if you go watch the video of how i made 10 million dollars you'll find i'm a leader i always have been i always will be the reason we have these blue diamonds and these pink diamonds is because our system what it does is it puts you on the winning side we don't teach you classic trading techniques they're great i get it but market makers know how to manipulate classic trade techniques right i can't stop the manipulation for you guys i can't i can't stop big money okay institutions market makers i can't stop that happening for you what i can do is teach you how to identify it the one way that you can catch them okay i could teach you that and i can also teach you all the best methods not the pretty good or the really good i'm talking the best that have ever been created and compile that which is in the system and then get on the winning side of the ones that make the market and manipulate the market and move the market and follow that and so like this blue diamond is an institutional whale buyer and this one is an institutional whale seller okay so you you get you can see in and out there the, what they do is they they shake you out so they buy they push it up and then they sell before you know it and you get caught up in this trap and then they go and they buy all your stuff low and then do it again to you and again to you and again and you don't know what's going on but i do okay so that's just one thing now we have over a hundred indicators built into our system and it's literally going to i we have stuff in here that'll you can get in and it'll keep you in the whole bull run okay the whole bull run you don't even have to sell it'll literally keep you in okay we also have uh settings for scalping swing trading position trading investing um day trading we have all that okay and and i love to swing trade so like if you were to look at bitcoin as an example on the daily which we're going to look at more bitcoin this video might go a little longer than it probably should because i'm babbling but you guys you guys need me to help you with ta and I know I've been doing a lot of editing and a lot of focus content. That's what YouTube wants. And plus, it's really cool, those videos. Put a lot of time anywhere from 15 to 40 hours into each one of those videos. They're really, really neat, really well done. I spent a lot of time, very artistic on it. But the channel started with TA and my main um you know subscribers and followers and viewers like you 
like my TA and and you know a lot of you guys want that and I just knew better I just I just know things I'm not gonna get pushed into making a TA video when I know we're in a sideways market and I know the probability of you getting paper cuts which is a lot of small losses uh, is gonna be very high so not only do I call it right for your entries to go long I call it right to hold on your gains and call it right to go short and what kind of uh, gas pedal or leverage you should put on the longs and shorts but I also uh, give you strategies of how to deal with market environments and um, I also keep you out of trouble and so when the market was going sideways for for you know like a month especially the last two weeks and everybody's getting worried about jobs reports they're like make TA videos why aren't you trading <laughs> because I've been doing this since 2004 and I know that in sideways markets or or data dependent especially fed data dependent especially fed data dependent off of a discount or federal fund rate information coming out of a bear uh market then you know the odds or probability are going to uh, be stacked against you to be winning okay it's going to be choppy and we win at the wheelhouse and i'm a mathematical person everything we do is mathematical in our coding and we have over 100 indicators and they have all special settings and the goal is is just to simply you know this is how it works it comes down you get your first blue doji i'm not sure if you can see that okay you get your first blue doji Okay, notice how right here you're below the purple line and this blue one crosses through and you get a blue dot on that same day. Okay, and the wave goes above. And also on that same day, this one crosses. Okay, and also this is low in the channel and crosses. And you also get your first blue volume with the doji. That's a long. If you buy in on the perfect minute, perfect day perfect hour whatever right there and i'll teach you how to do that on the hour and the minute too if you come in the discord and the link is in the description you're buying at thirty thousand, and depending on which system you want to run because i have multiple systems let's say we're doing the jedi green light system where once this goes green you can just stay in and trust it until it goes pink and the very next time this goes pink you get out so you bought at 30 you sold at sixty five thousand four hundred. you made over 100 percent on one trade on just one of the systems. I got a whole bunch of different systems that you can click and it'll change the settings. But as an example, if I can teach you how to buy on the best five minute, the best one hour, the best day, how to get out. If you're getting out at the top up here at 65,462, guys, I'm sure some of you watching have gone through some pain and didn't know any better. You know, and yeah, I had, you know, our bottom finder. See that see that white arrow? It called the bottom. This is a bottom finder in our coding. And, you know, we went sideways and I got us all in perfect right on this line. Right on this line, okay? And then the, F the FTX thing happened, okay? I think it was this line, sorry. Yeah, 17.6 was the low and then we were right at the high 18s. And we were just holding tight. And that was that was literally showing all the bottom. In fact, when I turn on the map book, or I turn on the bullish order block uh, data, which, which is in the system, I can just click it on and it'll show me. I could see that not just these bullish um, diamonds, bullish order blocks, but I could also see uh, the map book. I could see the accumulation. And then Glassnode put out the on-chain data to back up what I was seeing already. And then they were seeing it. So I was correct on that. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Looks to me like like Sam Bankman Free getting arrested is what we needed. And we have seller exhaustion. We have whales accumulating or holding, which is holding the line, okay? And I'm a shark now. That means I have over 10 Bitcoin. <laughs> and I'm happy I never owned over 10 Bitcoin before. But, you know, and, and I'm actually down on my Bitcoin right now. I'm not, I'm not green um, because I... My last buy was right about six, 16,000, I think, but my average is higher than that because my average before that was like the very low 19. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, to me, I'm just going to tell you, it's looking like we're going to go up. Now there is the FTX hearings and there is FUD and there is going to be some fear and questions and uncertainty, that old word uncertainty, which scares markets, there is gonna be some of that. But I'm just gonna tell you, um, 
you know, these are the these are the areas if you can hodl and it's long term that you're going to want to be buying Bitcoin. I'm actually going to do a full documentary. Um, I'm gathering the information. It's going to take me a week, maybe even two weeks to make this. It's a compilation of a lot of documentaries and I'm going to be doing it um editing it remixing it talking through it it's it's gonna be called something like what is bitcoin the full story or the history of bitcoin the full story and the history of blockchain is very interesting i'm compiling all the data i've already been working on it for two days but i don't want to just you know disappear from youtube while i'm working on that i want to do a good ta video and i want to kind of let you know my thoughts and my reasoning and i and if you've been following this channel and you see how accurate i am consistently going against what everybody is saying and i end up being the one that's right and they all are wrong with egg on their face whether they're an analyst an economist an influencer and there's great guys. I'm not saying that there's not brilliant economists and analysts and influencers, because there are. There's just, you know, a chunk of them. Um, a lot of the analysts suck. Some of the influencers don't really, really know that. They don't know as much as I do. Let's put it that way. But I've also been watching them and they've learned a lot and they're getting better, but they still aren't. You know what I mean? They're not, they didn't know they were in a bear market till 90 days and millions of dollars lost later. They didn't know there's a bottom. In fact, they're still putting in clickbait titles like disastrous CPI as the CPI comes in lower. Once a YouTuber, always a YouTuber, right? Can't change your stripes, all about that clickbait. On this channel, I'm not trying to clickbait you. I'm trying to teach you how to make money and hold on to it sincerely and most genuinely. That is my goal for you, okay? Who loves you, baby? Let's look at some stocks. Now, I just wanna remind you guys, when inflation comes down, tech goes up and now inflation's coming down so big tech's gonna go up let's just start taking a look um i'm gonna go from daily to hourly and we're gonna go quick i'm, I'm gonna skip the minutes the five minutes 30 minutes 15 minutes uh, four hours we're gonna look at dailies and then we're gonna look at hourlies and i'm gonna try to go quick pinterest up 11.9 percent Okay, Pinterest is leaving phase four. Price action's about to get above the 200. That's all the sideways indecision waiting on what I had said we were waiting on, which was the CPI data and the trend. And now they're gonna get up in it. Okay, so Pinterest looking good on the daily. Let's look at the hourly, screaming. That is a screaming buy. Okay, who's been saying DocuSign for two months now that it was a 10 bagger? Well, you're already up. $14 from our buy and what's this you got the Jedi green lights on the daily still in phase four but did find a bottom under the 200 but look you're moving up you have follow-through days uh, like an outside day your indicators are looking good DocuSign is a go and on the on the hourly that's just a go green lights to the beach so DocuSign's looking good square now all this stuff i own some of it i've sold there i gotta clean it up some of it i don't have anymore i don't think and some of it i have more of but essentially recently everything in this list i've owned i did eliminate a few things um Okay, we've been through Square multiple times on the channel. It goes all the way back to 2017. That's why I was able to say, look, here's the 2017 peak, okay? And it's an old support. And that's the 2018 bottom. The old old uh, rate hike uh, issue going on bottom of 2018, it hit it. That's 2019. Okay, more 2019, hit it again. This is COVID, bounced out, went on a bull run. This is distribution. There's phase four, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. And I said, buy right there on that line. It's not breaking the line. And now if you did and you followed me, which was at like 54, okay, went as low as $51. I think mine was $54. So if you followed me and you listened to me, you bought it at 54, you're at 71 bucks already and you're about to go a lot further on Square. Who loves you, baby? Do you know that if you were following my trades, if you were following my, my channel, my trades, my trade alerts in the Discord, which is only $50 for the trailers, but you might as well play the 100 so you get the algorithm and the coding and the courses. But look, I'm not trying to sell you. I'm just saying, if you were just following my alerts, 
There's eight different picks that I gave you over the last two months that all went over 100% and one of them went almost 200% if you just followed. They say, oh, you get 7%. This guy doesn't get 7%. This guy does like 1,300%. Okay, when everybody's freaking out in the bear market, I actually had like my biggest bull run ever, almost ever probably. In, a, in that amount of time, at least, during that bear run, I did good. I did over a million. I did 1.2 million, and then I swooped up like an extra 200 grand. And now, I'm we're long. We bought low, our, took our hedges off, the short squeezes are coming, the inflation trend's coming down, and we're about to get it, baby. We're about to get paid. The money printer's getting out. Okay, batteries are not included, but I got yours sitting right here, all polished and ready to ship you. If you come in that Discord and you subscribe, you're about to get paid. You need somebody to guide you, you need a mentor, you need a coach, you need somebody that's been in the markets for 18 years, that's been a successful multimillionaire, three different ways, three different times, and has also had a ton of failures, and I have lost a half a million dollars of my own money, which we call tuition, learning this stuff. So. Since I've already lost it and learned it and then studied the greatest out there um, and now have these incredible win rates and I'm coding an algorithm for you for it with my partner, why would you not want to invest in yourself? That's all I got to ask you because, you know, if you're this deep in the video, you want to make money. You want to change your life. You want to do something for your kids, yourself or your wife. And I'm on YouTube to help people. And everybody that comes in contact with me as far as a business partner or people that work with me end up making a lot of money. And I wouldn't be wasting 4,000 hours of my time making videos, barely sleeping. I could just be chilling. I could be flying. I could be kicking it in Spain or France or Hawaii, doing whatever I want. I've been retired for years. I don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I want to help you. And I've been through a lot. I've sacrificed a lot for you guys a lot with my family and um, just I've sacrificed a lot doing you know over 4,000 hours of making videos and not made any money on YouTube apparently you don't make money until you have over a hundred thousand subscribers and I only have 25,000 and I feel like I've worked hard but um, it is what it is you know if I can change a few people's lives we have hundreds of people in the discord and at one point we had um, a little under 80 students and the bear markets hurt some of them and but i've talked to all of them and you know i know the situation a lot of people had to get second jobs inflation really hurt a lot of people with gas and diapers and milk and food i get all that it's just normal and i've given a lot of people free subscriptions just because i could tell that they wanted to learn and i don't really need your money i just want to know that you're willing to invest in yourself it shows me that you care enough about yourself and your education and it gets rid of like spammers. So it shows me that you have a willingness and conviction to learn. And I feel like it's such a small amount of money for what you learn and for what I give you. You're coming out of there with almost like a PhD in finance from Harvard. I mean, once you get into those courses, and we're gonna be doing a lot more courses. Um, this algorithm alone is, is worth, you know, I think millions and millions of dollars. I mean, I've been contacted by hedge funds, you know, firms, you know, are saying, hey, go get your licensing again. We wanna put you in a corner and, you know, put you on a big salary. I, I could do that if I wanted, but no, I'm doing, I'm being dumb. I'm spending 4,000 hours for free doing it for a very small amount of people, but the people that I'm doing it for are you. And the whole reason that I did this and had a vision was because people were, they wanted to be wealthy. They were tired of everybody manipulating the market. And they were tired of, I saw it on YouTube. I saw it in the comments. I saw it on Facebook. I saw it on Reddit. I saw it everywhere where people were tired of the, the manipulation and the game being rigged and the wealthy being wealthy. And so I made this system and this channel for 97% for of the people. Unfortunately, it's the 3%, the super smart, the wealthy and the manipulators that are all calling me because they know I have something really good. And I'm not taking the money. I've been offered 40 sponsorships and haven't taken one of them. I'm considering two and I also have a company that wants to manage me um, as an influencer, which I'm considering doing that because I'm from the music business and I'm used to having management and I am considering that and I'm considering 
um, two other sponsorships. But I, I've been approached by 40 and I've said no. And the reason I've said no is because I don't want to end up like some of these influencers that, you know, were endorsing FTX and had to have egg on my face because I care about you. I care about the 97% of the people out there. That's what I want. That I won't, When I die, I want to leave some things behind. And if you go watch the video, you guys really should watch the video. I'll put it on the end card. How I made $10 million. This is a true story. Everything in there is true. There's a hell of a lot more to my story that you don't know in there. Like, for instance, I grew up with prime ministers and senators at my dinner table. When I was a kid. You don't know that I was the director of sales for an energy drink company and worked with NASCAR. You, there's a whole bunch of people that I tell you that I do know in that video and show you pictures, but there's a lot more that you don't. You can't put your whole life in a 40 minute video, but you should certainly watch that video and become inspired and know that the greatest stars lie in your future. I'm here for you. I got your money printer. I got your lightsaber. Here's the ball ball is in your court are you going to invest in your future are you going to invest in your life your freedom your financial freedom are you going to take the next step well if so i think that docusign's looking good guys all right monday monday something we use in the business world okay let's hear all your teams talk to each other and do tasks kind of like an asana uh, if you've never owned a business or run these, these, these are good. I've used both of them. They're subscription based and um, they're good companies and they help keep, especially when you have multiple departments or mul multiple buildings um, and you have like, for instance, like an art department, uh, um, you have a warehousing team, you have, you know, um, you just have a lot of departments. Let's just say you have eight, nine, 10, 12 departments. Monday, Asana, those are really good companies. I've used both of them. I like Monday a lot. I used it for years um, on my last business. It wasn't called Monday though back then. They changed the name. It was, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but that's what they call it now. And they went public, it's called Monday. Um, so yeah, you know, it looks kind of sideways, but Monday, you know, it hit this low over here, 73 and you're at 122. We're talking about $50, guys. If you just listen to me, when, when I bought it, you're up 50 bucks on this thing. Um, look, look at this on the daily. Look, this is what is a sun run energy. Bounce, above the 200, double top, all the way back down to for a second opportunity, which is where I bought and then I bought more yesterday. Because we're above the 200, we got the Jedi green lights and we're entering phase one and it's green lights to the beach, baby. This thing was all the way at 192. You could still get it at 31 and make 66%. Okay, FNGU had a crazy big day on this yesterday. You got your Jedi green lights on the daily. This is a basket of 10 insanely sick stocks like Tesla, Baba, Apple's in there. I'll look real quick for you. Sorry if I'm babbling here. Just Let's just give you a TA video. You guys want TA videos? I'm, my specialty is TA. Actually, my specialty is DJing. My second specialty is, is making money. I am a magnet for cool and eccentric people, and I am a magnet for making money. And it's not because I'm lucky, because I'm not. I'm not a lucky person, but I'm a smart person, and I know how to position myself, and I understand the way the world works, and I'm very good at patterns and pattern recognition and things like that. Um, so FNGU, I call it something thing. Okay, so you get Baba, Baidu, Netflix, Google, Facebook, Nvidia, Tesla, Apple, Twitter, Amazon. Good companies, guys. Really good companies. So FNGU crushed it. It was up a little bit more yesterday. This computer went off. Uh, so this one needs a password. That one's on and this little one's on. Okay. So JNUG. Now I told you guys to buy this over like 20 bucks. It was like 21 bucks or something. And yeah, it's right here, right here. Yep. About 21 bucks. And look at you now, almost up a hundred percent. If you just listened to what I said, I think a lot of you did in the group. JNUG, you're almost up a hundred percent. If you followed my lead on that, you're going further too, by the way, you're going further. This is gold, okay? This is gold was at 1037 just a few years back. And a few years before that, you were way over here, uh, even higher. So, I mean, 
I mean, we got to look at all this, all the reverse splits and stuff. But look, we're up like 90% on this thing since I called out the alert. LABU is another one. I think I, I just grabbed a little bit more shares of that yesterday. Edit, I think that's one that I had sold. Soxel is another one I added to yesterday. Soxel is looking good. That's uh, uh, triple leverage on the semiconductor. So that's looking good. Look, Meta Platforms. Um, it's been hitting this resistance, but it looks like it wants to finally move. Oh, sorry. That's like my pre-market wake-up bell. <laughs> Um, I woke up a little bit before my pre-market alarm. Um, I've even driven to the store and everything already. Uh, so yeah, look, Meta is kept, it's on this resistance, but man, um, I mean, if you want a Facebook Meta, these prices are outstanding. You are still in phase four under the 200. So not ultimate level of safety. It's also not my favorite one to recommend right now because there are better ones and I'm still concerned with Zuckerberg and where his head is at. I think long term the meta thing will be big, but I think he needs to focus on the advertising and keep the current business moving correctly. Bowles, my partner actually gave me this one and I, I made money on it, sold it, and I just um, got got more recently. So. Very happy with that. ERX is um, it's an oil play and it's getting some momentum here on the hourly, but I got out of it, um, you know, over in here and that's, you can see why, but it is, looks like it's bouncing off the 200. The one I really like is NRGU, but I'm also out of that right now. Charge point. Um, I think I'm ready to jump back in charge point. I spent like 400 grand yesterday. I don't tell my girl, but I, I spent like 400 grand. I'm 50% in right now. And a good chunk of that is on a hardware, like a cold wallet, basically, like that I, I'm scared to plug in. I want to see what happens with this FTX thing. And I, I do have like three or four exchanges that are open for crypto, but... I am also very interested in this new one um, called Mexi Global. Why don't you put in the comments what you think? They've been trying to sponsor me. I'm a little nervous, uh, mainly because the guy that pitched it to me was so aggressive with me trading on it that it, it just it shot off red flags for me. But I can't really find anything too bad about it. Uh, I can't find anything bad about it actually and I've been looking and researching I just don't want to lead people the wrong way so maybe you guys can tell me if Mexi Global is good and maybe I can start trading there I trade for a prop firm mainly so I don't have to worry about that I just can worry about my hodl and um, the prop firm to make money but I do like to trade and I do need to sometimes move money off of that wallet. So please let me know what you think on that. Nvidia, you know, I got my Nvidia way down. It was like 120 or something like that. Yeah, it came all the way down to 108. I think I got over, when it was like, it was like 121. When I bought it a few times, but I'm up on it. So uh, Palantir, I had sold and now it looks like it's bouncing off of support. And so now I'm interested in picking up like, you know, two, three, four, five thousand shares of that. Probably lower, like 2,500 sounds fine. But yeah, look, bouncing off of support. So that's chilling. Uh, MicroStrategy, just got a little bit more of that. I am into that. My buddy Jake, um, you know, kind of just put it in front of me as far as the correlation for Bitcoin. And, you know, I love stocks, but I love crypto. And I'm not scared about anything because 80% of your, if you enter right, 80% of all your future problems go away. And if you notice what I said a minute ago, I was like, I'm now 50% in. I didn't say 100%. We just got to the 50 yard line. The sun's coming out. We're through the turbulence and the, the, the chaos, right? And I'm 50% in. I'm walking myself in so I can, now I can scale into breakouts. Uh, get more shares, less positions, take profits on the ones that I don't have as much conviction in and, and double down, triple down into, into the ones I want on the long hold. And I'm trying to get to 40 million. I'm just gonna tell you straight up. I'm trying to get to 40 million. That's where I'm trying to go to. And, it, and I'm gonna put my story on YouTube of what I'm buying and my trade alert. So, and I am gonna get there. So if you guys wanna follow me, Definitely subscribe here. Watch it all the way through when I make videos because you never know what I'm going to say or what I'm going to do. I don't even know that. Um, but I do spit knowledge constantly. And um, if you stick with me, 
I'm a very intelligent guy. I might be a little tired and groggy most of the time when you see me, but I am very smart. Go watch that video, How I Made 10 Million. Go look at all the people I know. I'm partners with James Walgreen. There's a, a, a partners with three different billionaires. If I need a $10 million credit line, I just pick up the phone and have a DocuSign email to me. I have partners, I have friends, I have access to a lot. I'm going to be, I just secured a whole bunch of sick um, handles for future businesses. I got a whole plan, uh, not just for YouTube, but wheelhouse trading. I have a whole plan, including patents and um, employees and things that I'm going to be doing worldwide around um, in the future. So you're in the infancy stages. There's not a lot of people in the retail. And those that show me that you want it are those that I'm going to help. I'm just going to tell you that's how I work. If you just have your hand out, um, I gladly will help you if you subscribe. But the ones that are humble and eager and passionate and really want to learn, they're the ones that help. There's a guy, you know, he's kind of been having a tough life, but he wants to learn to trade. He doesn't have a lot of money. And I just sent him $4,300 like to help him out because he's a good guy. You know what I mean? And I want him on my team and I wanted to help him. And I didn't give it to him like a loan. I just sent it to him because he's a good guy. And I wanted him and his family and kids to, you know, just have a little bit less stress in their life. You know, my sister needs help sending her money. My brother in Indiana, I just sent him money so he can get his own freaking apartment and move out from the situation he's in. You know, if I'll, t I'll help you guys if you, you show me some love. And um, at this point, all, all you got to really do is just show me that you want to learn. And hit the subscribe, the like, maybe share the video, maybe comment on the video. You know, that kind of stuff is, is all, all you can really do for me. But those are all, you know, things that I really, you know, appreciate. So um, I've noticed Baba's got a lot of movement lately. So Baba's looking good. Right under the 200. This is again phase four, about to get to phase one. Uh, looking good and yeah Baba is kind of going sideways on the hourly you might get another chance to buy it a, a couple dollars lower so look I could go through a ton of stuff let's go through just the big ones real quick so Amazon this is the time to buy look it just all the way down you got your this is blue everything just crossed on the sync system that's a big engulfing candle Amazon looks good I just got more yeah Amazon I mean, you're getting it as low as you're going to get it. It got as low as 86 bucks, and you're at 92 so Amazon looks good. CrowdStrike is another one. Cybersecurity is going to be here forever. I just loaded the boat on that yesterday. I got my price down way lower. My first price was 180 and I think I bought more like 150 and I just bought more yesterday, right around the price it's at. Maybe a dollar lower or something, 50 cents lower. So yeah, CrowdStrike, I mean, look at this, guys. Dude, how all-time high of 300. You're at 120. And um, what time is it? Is the market going to open soon? Yeah, it's going to open soon, so i got to go. Um, Cybersecurity is going to be here forever, okay? NVIDIA, AMD chips, you're always going to need them for your phones, your cars, your tablets. Um, Tesla, I know it's down, but it's still a leader of electronic revolution and will be... Uh, for many, 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 many years to come. He's just distracted with Twitter. Um, he's messing with some pretty powerful people on the Twitter files. I have a thousand shares myself. It's, it's kind of a lot of money. And um, it makes me nervous too. But I'm also like, yeah, man, like get these people, show, show the people. Because I was telling everybody it was all BS back then anyways. I'm glad that there's somebody that can show it. But I could see from an investor standpoint how that would scare Tesla investors. And now with rumors that there'd be a new CEO of Tesla, I actually have never heard that from anybody. I just saw that Meet Kevin made a video, but he's like the clickbait master. So um, you really can't trust most of the stuff he says, unfortunately. He's gotten better over the years, but he's still, he's still just a hustler. Um, you know, he had a YouTube channel. Uh, he's in pandemic. He couldn't do real estate. So then he went into stocks and actually he's one of the reasons I created the YouTube channel was because he was advising people so incorrectly at the time. He literally knew less than nothing. It was like watching the Truman show, he's telling people to buy the dip that went viral. It became a wall street joke an insider joke where people, they, they call it the meet Kevin. They were making fun of him. 
behind the scenes on Wall Street for buying the dip because there's not one financial book in the world that says buy the dip. They were even talking about it on TV, but he got all these people dumb money. So media wanted to ping on that because they wanted you to stay dumb and they were using me kevin as a spokesperson for it and he doesn't even know that just like kathy woods doesn't know that she got attacked because she went on tv and said the old way of thinking from all these uh old institutions is going to be their demise and what do they do they attacked her well there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes you guys don't know that i do know uh, Microsoft, dude, that one's good. You want it. Pfizer, super good. You want it. Netflix, hella good. You want it. You want Netflix, Pfizer, Microsoft. CrowdStrike, a little dangerous right now, but long term, really good. Amazon, you're at the low. Google, you're pretty much at the low. Nvidia, you got to have it. You missed the low. Um, DocuSign, please do yourself a favor. It's like nine 900% up. Okay. Um, Solana's in the 14s. That's cool. Uh, Okay. Oh, Adobe. I wish you guys would have bought that at 274 with me. I, I mean, up uh, 30, 50, 60, 70. $75 since my alert on this, if you followed my alert. Crazy, right? Uh, let's just look at Bitcoin real quick and Ethereum. Okay, this is Bitcoin on the hourly. Mad momentum looking strong, okay? Bitcoin is basically going to be at 18 and see how... Okay, just, just look at the screen real quick. Just look at the screen. See how... Boom, bottom finder. Okay, then it went to 19 and it hovered for 45 days. Then douchebag Sam Bankman fraud came out and crushed us. And then the whales just held us there. Okay, low volatility, volatility contraction. Okay, and then boom, we're breaking out and we're heading up. So now's the time that you want to accumulate more. Even though you're at 18 instead of 15.5, the safety is built in and safety is important. And I, I'm very big on making sure that you get your gains, you enter correctly, you hold on to your gains, you exit properly, but there's safety involved. You at the wheelhouse with me, price is not everything. Safety is more important and holding on to your money and entering properly is more, more important. I tell you what, guys, I'm going to release this algorithm. I'm going to enter the world investing and trading championship and i am going to do my best to win it and i'm pretty darn sure i'm going to win it because i already hit like 97 percent win rates go look at the video the 10 million dollar video again at the end i should go through the algorithm i go through the trades my trades in the bear market look how much green that is in the 90 percentiles in the in the bear market show me anybody in the world that has that uh, there's not <laughs> i don't know anybody and i know a lot of traders nobody does that there's some good traders i know this one dude he's a pretty sick trader um yeah he's he's a sick trader uh, he's he's really good um I've, I've looked at his numbers he's really good he's in my group i'm in his i really like him i, I think he's a little bummed on me because he wanted to partner but i really like the guy and it wasn't that i didn't want to partner with him it's just that I've been in business so long that when you when you pitch me, you need to really pitch me with mutual benefit. And if you're watching right now, you know who you are. I've been around the block, I've done a lot of businesses. If you're going to pitch a guy like me, you need to really pitch it with mutual benefit because if there's not mutual benefit in a partnership, then in the future there's animosity and spite and it always goes sideways. You can come back to me, I'm still interested, but you need to show more mutual benefit because I offer so much value. So, all my partners have become multi-millionaires from me and I've ended up doing 90% plus of all the work and come up with just about all the ideas. So, you know, to me, it really needs to be mutual. Okay, Ethereum's at 1329, guys. I mean, you're out of the de descending primary downtrend. You're still in phase four under the 200, but you are also heading up and it's looking good. Look, I gotta go. The market's gonna open and I need to get uh, set up for some trading in my prop account. Uh, the momentum's back. We're ready to go up. Remember, we are pivot to pivot, mom momentum-based directional traders okay we identify pivots momentum through the volume and then we run game long or short we don't care but right now we're going to be going more up than more down it's going to be bumpy it's going to be volatile remember the base i showed you on the dow as long as it takes to come all the way down to where we were yesterday it's going to
could take that long to come out. Yesterday was day one of the beginning. All the stuff behind yesterday was the worst and everything in front of you from yesterday is now the beginning of your new life. The greatest stars lie in your future. My name is Chris, this is Wheelhouse Trading and welcome to the Wheelhouse.